What's up guys, welcome back to Cursed Urban and today we are doing another Randonautica video. This is our third straight day of Randonautica. We did one yesterday, we did one the day before that. Um, we still keep getting harassed by this, by this person who keeps leaving us weird intentions, who keeps giving us weird riddles and stuff that are very ominous, but nothing has happened to us yet. Mm -hmm. Like nothing bad has really happened to us. Um, very annoying. Yeah, it's, it's just annoying. I don't want three days in a row when it's cold out. Yeah. But this is what we've been roped into. Yeah. We don't appreciate it. No. Mr. Slippery. Yeah, we just call him Mr. Slippery as a joke, but yeah. I think the guy wants to be called the orchestrator. But we don't care. Yeah, we really don't care. We don't care. I hate this guy. <laughs> he really, he stole my car once out of my garage. Like this isn't, I know I'm like acting like it isn't a big deal and like it's funny, but it's really not that funny at all. It's just funny for us because we have to deal with the stuff all the time. So we're back again doing Randonautica, and we hope we're not going to run into the guy, but we probably will. Um, or at least something of his, because this is continuing from the last video, if you guys watched it. Uh -huh. And we're starting off with an intention called, or the word pitch. That's what he wants us to run, is pitch. Pitch. So yeah, we're going to set that in the car, uh -huh. and it'll lead us to something stupid, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, v Dan Lee, very plain spoken man. Yeah. <laughs> Billy is something dumb. I can feel it. <laughs> Alright, so. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're always premiering videos, we're always going live, we're always doing cool stuff. Um, we are doing a giveaway too for uh, one of our Randonautica. Um, intentions. We haven't decided which one, but we save all of all the things we find, all the objects. So we're doing a giveaway. All you have to do is. We'll announce details at the end of the video. Yeah. Just get yeah, yeah. On this. So you have to see the vi so you have to watch the video. Or skip to the end if you want. Yeah, we don't care. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> all right. Let's go. Uh, let's get into this and get it done. Fun fact, we can't shut off the car today because uh, the battery is malfunctioning. We don't even know what's wrong with the car. Whoever owned this car last put a crappy Mercedes battery in my Audi. So I don't know what that piece of crap is doing in my um, Audi. All right, so should we run this? Is this pitch? This is pitch. ready as I'm going to be for the evening, yes. Okay. Pitch. 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 Black. Pitch. 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 Gave us something. I'm sure it's going to be something really cool. <laughs> <laughs> This should just be your like your character for the whole for all the videos. Like I could be the enthusiastic one, or you could just be like Squidward. Uh, He's, everyone's an idiot except for me. No, this is gonna be great. I'm so excited. Okay. Let's to the weird parking lot. This town does it right with Christmas decorations. Yeah, they really do. Maybe some of you from this area will know exactly where we're at, and that's fine. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this town does it, does it right with uh, Christmas decorations for sure. Yeah. A lot of cool small towns do some really cool stuff with the Christmas decorations. Especially that one with the rest of our favorite restaurant. No, the other one. Burgers. Stock. Oh, you mean uh, stock? Yes. Yeah, that, that town does it right with Christmas decorations. Yeah, that's a good town. I wonder what... I, huh? Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, well, 
recently we haven't seen the guy. We've just gotten his intentions. So these are kind of like our old Randonauticas right now. It's just really weird. It kind of seems like he's backed off, like let his foot off the gas a bit. So yeah, our, our videos are honestly less entertaining right now because we haven't seen him. So. Or maybe they're not. Who knows? So I don't know. Wow, this car is running really good. I'm afraid to turn it off. We might have to because this is terrible. After this, well, actually, we're still within walking distance of the car. Yeah. Okay. Or we can always take an Uber. That doesn't make any sense that my check engine light is off, but this EPC shit is on. There's something very electronically wrong with the car. Guys, don't buy your car off the dark web. Don't buy a European car in general. Um, that'd be a good rule of thumb. Except for Porsches. If you can yeah. Buy a good Porsche. Don't buy a 2004 Cayenne. They look really tempting because they're cheap. But they are giant, giant pieces of crap. Every other Porsche is good except for the 2004 Cayenne. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah, there's a reason behind the price. This isn't the right... Look where it wants me to go. It wants me to like walk through this factory and walk over the tracks past these... What? It wants me to go back there and walk over the tracks to get to our pit. When there's a parking lot right there. That's trespassing. Exactly. What? This is why I'm going around it, Dan. Squidward. That's <laughs> trespassing. <laughs> I can't wait to make this video. It's going to bring us to something incredibly awesome. Yeah, my enthusiasm level is at an all-time high. What is this? What, this? This is the parking lot. And our intention is way down there somewhere. Oh, goody gumdrops. the sketchiest part of the parking lot. Fantastic. I'm really excited. I wonder what it could be. I wonder what it could be. It's going over, like, there? Yeah. All right, yeah. Leave your, yeah, let's just leave the car here. Okay. Because if we go down there, we're going to get block blocked in. Okay. Okay. So just ignore the dark web car sounding like a Mack truck right now. It sounds like an old tractor. Yeah. So <laughs> it does. It sounds like a diesel truck or tractor. That would be sick if I had a diesel, honestly. It would be. Why you, wait, why didn't you buy one? They have the TDI version of those, but they were more expensive, more expensive weren't expensive, they? Yeah. Man. I don't like this. No, I don't like this at all. This is dead. So, here. Okay. Right here. All right, so this is the point. Look for Okay. Well, maybe we should drink out of it. How much would you give me to drink out of it? Nothing. Seeing anything? It maybe it's that right there. There's something shiny. Looks like a pot or something. And it looks pretty nice. For being out here. Yeah, for being out here. Okay. Is that it? I What's mean, that have not, to do with pitch? It's not directly on the pin. Well, yeah, but I mean, but, it's yeah. in the area. I mean, it's clean. Okay, so it's indoor use only, so it shouldn't be outside, so this should be our intention, right? Yeah, and it's, it, like I said, it, just, it looks like it's out of place. Like, why is it here? Okay, well, this is it. There's nothing written on it. Okay. That's weird. So we don't have another intention? Unless his riddle is indoor use only. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't give us another riddle on it? No. Okay. He just gave us this watermelon face. Shake it. Is there anything inside? Can you hear anything like shaking around? No. Yeah. All right. And I don't see anything in there. So... What do we do with this? Take it? 
I guess. Yeah, take it and I guess we'll just... it off to a Patreon viewer. <laughs> yeah, here's a here's a vase or a pot. So guys, if you subscribe to our Patreon, we do Patreon. We do Patreon randonauticas, like Patreon exclusive randonauticas, so you can only see these randonauticas if you're on our Patreon. We're releasing our first one January 15th. Second one, we already got one second. up. Oh yeah, our second one on January 15th. It's gonna be really cool. We'll send you guys a preview on one of our future videos. So we have that. And if you get our, if you get our second tier of Patreon, we, we give people like free stuff like this. Um, we're, we're gonna raffle off like intentions to uh, to one of our subscribers. If you get, there's a $5 one and a $10 one. Get the $10 one, we enter you in a raffle, we give these out every two weeks. So that's something to look forward to. And they aren't all lame like this. They have like cool stuff written on them and stuff like that, so yeah. Cool. So, wait. What should we do for our next, like, intention? Because it's weird, because we got something that was probably planted. Yeah. But what do we do? Like, he didn't write anything on it. We'll, uh, we'll just grab one off of the laser. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We got a, we got our most recent video pulled up, and like we always say, make sure to leave intentions in the comments, because we do go through them, and we will try and use some of your intentions. There's a lot, so we're not gonna get to everybody. Today, we just decided we're going to use Elizabeth's. Uh, we're going to use Evil Surroundings. Yep. I think that will be that will be good. So, guys, if we use your intention, if you comment an intention and we use it in our video, we will give you a shout-out. We will use your intention on the next video. Maybe. Because yeah. there's a whole bunch of people who comment. But There is. Thankful. All right, so Evil evil Surroundings? Evil and... Evil and... Wait. What was? Evil, I think it was Evil Surroundings, right? Yeah. I keep thinking Evil Intentions, but that's the name of a haunted oh, house. house yeah. yeah, Evil Surroundings. All right, let's go. All right. Ready? Yes. Evil Surroundings. Evil Surroundings. Evil Surroundings. Evil. Evil Surroundings. Evil Surroundings. Evil Surroundings. Evil Surroundings. Evil. There we go. Oh, okay. That's kind of a drive. Has us go into this place? The, just this place? I don't know. Dude. I guess there's a forest preserve right there. Okay. It's just some weird looking road. Road next to a train tracks. Okay. All right, let's go. Sounds good. Okay, guys. So we're three minutes away from our next intention, which we don't even know if we're going to get anything, because the vase, or the whatever that is, piece of pottery, did not have... Yeah, it did not have uh, it. nothing, yeah. So now it's taking us out of the city and back into the countryside, uh, where things always get a little bit sketchier. Yep. Like, this is a very inviting road, as you can see. It looks very, uh, not creepy at all. Yeah, we don't, uh, this is a little bit unusual. I mean, this whole thing is unusual, but like, as far as randonauticas go, usually when we plant something, we get some something. Something, yeah. What if the stalker got loose somehow? Like our old stalker. The what old what stalker? Someone, what if it's someone new completely? I don't know, or maybe it's just nothing at all. Yeah, maybe if it was just something that was sitting there, just coincidentally. I, mean, I don't know anyone who takes random pieces of pottery. But it also it also is a good place to dump stuff back there. Oh, that's true. I didn't think of that. Which is kind of odd that they dumped one pot. Well, they could, but they could have dumped other things, and people just went over and picked through the pot. That's true. But this, I mean, this pot looks like it was placed intentionally. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> intentionally. I see what you did there. Brandon Nautica is so fun. So. <laughs> I like how this is what I used to do with our old Brandon Nauticas. I used to complain. You're like, bro, right. you always make fun of the Brandon Nauticas. We need to redo the intro. 
Yeah. But but now we have a reason to, and that's because of Mr. Slippery. Yeah, that's true. It's like, do you want to be out doing this? No, I'd like. I'd rather be doing a fun rant at Onica where we're not running this guy's errands every <laughs> night. What if it got to the point where we're like, we actually like ran errands for him? <laughs> Intention, dry cleaning. Okay, the road was back there. I missed it. So okay. Yeah, what if we like have to go to Walgreens, pick up his meds and shit? <laughs> meds for Mr. Slippery. That guy's on heavy medication. Or maybe he's not. Maybe that's what's wrong with him. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so now is the moment of truth. We're about to turn down this road, which isn't even lit. And here it is. Yeah, this, this is perfect. Yeah, just what we want to see. Exactly what we want to see. I've seen worse potholes in Chicago. Okay. So our intention is like right almost on it. Okay. Well, let's do what we usually do, turn around and face outwards before we even get out of this car. Okay. Off-roading? That's illegal. I think you do, though. Audi's Quattro system. The second best four-wheel drive system on the market. Is that true? I don't know. Oh, okay. I read it's supposed to be very good. Yeah, I heard it's good. I heard it's good. And I think Land Rover's still the best. <laughs> hey, don't make fun of their four-wheel drive capability. Land Rover's the best. Break down all the time, but when they're running, they are the most capable off road cars on the market. That's true when they are running. Yeah. I should just break this chain right now. There, what are we doing all the way down here? Oh, property line, no hunting. I don't think we have to worry about that because there's literally nothing here. There's a cigarette butt. First time we got the stalker. Really? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, it does to the track and there's a cigarette butt. I don't see anything here. You sure you don't want to go deeper into the creepy trail? I mean... It is kind of scary. Yeah, you can't even see back there. Yeah, it is kind of creepy. Alright, so that's kind of odd that it brought us to a bust. This usually doesn't happen when we're running Mr. Slippery Intentions. So maybe it's not Mr. Slippery. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Back in the car and then run one of our fans things again. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Good. I mean, oh, oh, my hand on that. Um, but who knows? Like, all he did was give us some vague time frame to do this thing from our from oh, the last yeah. intention. So maybe it didn't mean tonight. You know, maybe it meant a maybe it meant a different night. This thing literally doesn't say anything that we 
can't be here. Is that weird? It just says no hunting. Oh yeah. Huh. They controlled. Huh. So they're they're killing off deer here though. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what it says. Controlled deer management program is underway here. Oh, okay. I was just reading this bullshit. Oh, okay. So, okay, so right here they can hunt, but then down there they can't. That's why that, that sign's there that says more. Oh, so they can hunt on one side but not yeah, the other. Okay. They can hunt like down here, and then as soon as they cross that, they can't hunt. That makes sense. That's wild. Hmm. Oh, we have another intention pulled up. And this one is from Cooking Gourmet. We're going to do to make known. Ready whenever you are. Okay. All right, you ready, guys? Let's do this. To make known. 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 Okay. Okay, so it's at this church. Hmm, interesting. Just in the parking lot? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it. Okay guys, so we're, we're two minutes away from our next intention. Looks like it's at some big church, so I don't know what we're going to find here. We could just get nothing, honestly. I don't know, maybe the, maybe the vase or the pot or whatever that is. Could have just made coincidence. I don't know. Yeah. But we're about to find out. Because if there's nothing here, that means it's not Mr. Slippery. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we got nothing at the last one, so. so we get two in a row. It's off. Yeah, that's a good way of that's a good way of looking at it. I say whenever uh, we can't complete a random nautica because Mr. Slippery isn't cooperating. Yeah. Or uh, we're just not finding stuff. We should just do vlogs where we go to restaurants. <laughs> nope, we don't have enough money for that. Never mind. So which is this way? Wait, is this it? I think so. The church is over there. Where is it taking us? To that park. I'm gonna vouch for the lamp post. I think that's we should just check that. So yeah, it's in this corner. Yep, here it is. There's something. Oh wow. So yep, idea. that's <laughs> look. This doesn't I guess it is looks like Mr. Slipper. Yep, so look at this. Say? A message. For those of a curio curious heart. Again with the heart stuff. Bleeding eyes, Santa. With some symbols. Now yeah, open it up. Classic Mr. Slipper. Oh, there's something inside there. Oh, a triangle symbol. Which we don't even know what these symbols mean. He keeps leaving it on the, on everything. What's it say? N T E D entered under the moonlit path will reveal true unveilings. What's E N? What's N T E D entered entered? Is that a is that a word? No. I like get a different language. I don't think so. But look at this. It looks like it might have been ripped or cut or something. Yeah. What's I'm gonna look up N E. Wait. Wait, inted. Free mod. Definition of inted by free dictionary. No, it just says Ted. 
Cool. Wait, it says derived from, redirected from Nted. Ted, related to Nted. What is? I don't think it's a word. I think it's safe. I think it got cut off, and it's a long word. But it's obvious our next intention needs to be revealed. Reveal, yeah. to our Patreon, it's tier two, you could be the lucky winner of whatever this is. The edgy box. The edgy box. Dr. Edgy. Alright, so reveal the next attention. You know, I just realized he put the Santa box, the edgy Santa with bleeding eyes, next to a church with a giant Christmas tree. What does that mean? Does that mean anything? Probably not. Maybe. Christmas. Maybe that's supposed to be uh, Krampus. Oh, maybe. Oh, I got to do it. Okay. Do you have enough juice to do this last one on the, on the with the coins? Yep. The tokens. Yes, sir. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right. Reveal. 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 Come on. Reveal. Reveal. Okay. Where are you sending me? sit here for another 20 minutes. Sounds having, like something you'd want to do. I was having a good time. Now that I know for sure certain it is Mr. Slippery, I'm having an even better time. Yeah, that answered our question whether it was Mr. Slippery or not. So, uh, okay, let's discuss. What, why did he, why was there an empty spot for our last intention? Um, you want, I think you went the wrong way. Not really. Do I have to off road again? There oh, is. there's the there's the tree I was talking about. Oh, that's see. Yeah, it's a big tree. Uh, maybe it's a glitch. Could be. He might have done the wrong thing. I don't know how he's getting into the servers or what he's doing. I don't know if he's in their phone or if he's in the the apps coding in our phone or if he's in the servers. I don't really know how hacking works. I'm not a computer hacker. Yeah, or it's something completely different. Yeah. So maybe there was a glitch in whatever program he's carrying out, whatever coding he's using. Yeah, my guess is as good as yours. I really have no idea. This is, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's just been random all like three nights in a row. Yeah, I know, for real. And, because we're trying to like, like we've talked about before, this guy is obviously wanting us to do something. So we're like, let's just do this. Let's get it over with. The faster we figure out and expose Mr. Slippery's plan, the quicker we're going to have them out of our lives, in theory. We don't know. We need to figure out what the symbols mean. That's the key. To yeah. Things. Yeah, you're, I think you're right about that. We yeah. have to figure out what the symbols mean. But there's no way to tell. It's, like, impossible to, like, tell what the symbols mean. Yeah, there's no... There's the, like, There's been no clues to what the symbols mean. Like you said, maybe we have to go back through Grand Nautica's. Maybe the symbol... Maybe the symbol has something to do with, like, what's connect, like. Maybe the symbols have to do something with like what's in the video, like or the locations. Maybe we should start taking note of if we see a reoccurring pattern with the symbols and different locations or like objects that are in the frame of our video with the symbols or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I, I'm 
mean, I don't know. But like you said before, like you said in the other video, there's just so many of these yeah, symbols. There's just tons of them. It's just unfathomable to do them all. Kind of. It'd be a giant pain. At the very least. Yeah. Um, so the symbols. Where are we heading south? Okay. For a second, I thought my GPS glitched. Hmm. Um, what else do we do to stop Mr. Slippery? What does he want? From I don't know. He likes the attention. He likes the attention. We found that tracker and we tried to use it against him, but that didn't really help. So he's tracking us some other way. Yeah, how is he tracking us right now? Is he, wait, maybe he's not tracking us. Maybe he's lost count of us and tracking us. Maybe. That's a good possibility, though. He might have lost track of us. But, he, I don't know. He's got to keep tabs on us somewhere. Because how else would he have known that we're doing the... Uh, I guess we kind of did came out, come out to the same areas last night. Yeah. So, we're nearby it. So, he's probably expecting us to do that. Maybe since he doesn't have a tracker on our car, we should see what happens if we go, like, somewhere else and get rid of Monica. Yeah. Yeah, or get another car, just to be sure. The problem is, oh yeah, just get another, yeah, rent a car or something. Mm -hmm. Because by now he's probably put another tracker on our car or something. Oh, he had to have. And that's, yeah, he had to have for sure. That's not good. It is not good. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll flash my lights on. Look at them all. Yeah, tons of deer. <laughs> you see him flinch? Yep. Alright, guys. So, we're heading down. Wow, it's weird. Two minutes away from, two minutes away from the intention. Street lights here, but it looks like beyond this there are no street lights. Mm. So Mr. Slippery is luring us back into the dark. Yeah, on a gravel road. And creepy. That leads to nowhere. I wonder what that black is. I'm not sure. There's no one out here. Yeah. That no one. The most isolated place we've been in. in. The past three days we've run around Antarctica. This is the most isolated out here. Right here. So it brought us to another dead end intention. Look at that sign. What? Looks like a target. Somebody's definitely shot at it before <laughs> with some 22s. Yeah. Is that the intention? You think we're supposed to shoot at the sign? I think we should definitely shoot at the sign. I think that's exactly what we need to do. If we don't, Mr. Slippery is going to kill us. So we should probably just, we should probably shoot at the sign. You're right. You're right. Did you have your gun on you? Nope. Defenseless yet again. Maybe next time. 
shoot the shot sign for you guys. Commit acts of vandalism, vandalism for this video. So do you think it's like buried in here, or do you think he just... Did no, it? he never hides intentions like that, ever. He never hides them. He always leaves them out for us to find, like right out in the open. It'd be on the road, or it'd be right by the sign. I don't know. Maybe his app is glitching out. Maybe he's just screwing with us. Or maybe his maybe he messed up because this would be the second location tonight that we have found nothing at. And that never and happened. He sent us something that didn't make any sense. Yeah, then he sent something. So maybe we didn't find another part to that? I think he's jerking us off, bro. I don't know. I think something's going I think something's going wrong for his plan tonight, yeah. Because there's you wanna try it again or you wanna call it? We I do. mean, we don't have anything to go off of, you know, the intents we've been doing haven't brought us anything, so I think we just call it night. I think, nah, it's late. I was going to say, I was going to say, like, let's, let's, like, wait, like, 40 minutes to yeah. see maybe if the glitch, like, corrects itself, but then it's like, then we have to wait 40 minutes, and then it could just, like, bring us back to nothing. So, right, right. Yeah. Okay. That's just bad. Okay. This is a very scenic road. It's very creepy. I like it. Good aesthetic. I like it. That's a good road. here so Dan you're very excited with the results aren't you I am I am yeah well, if you want to film I could just drive oh you sure yeah okay right. yeah what am I doing Dan likes driving this car, but he doesn't like to admit it. I do like driving this car. <laughs> I just admitted it. Oh, it's a shitty European car. I mean, I don't want to own this car. But I enjoy driving it. Somebody just threw that out of the woods. Let's get out. Okay. Someone's throwing stuff at us. Bro, what the f was that? Were you trying to hit us? What even was that? What was, was that like a... It was like Whoa, dude. That's it. That's the thing that we saw. What the hell? Did he take it out of the car? Yeah, it's not in here. So he we took it. Because we put it right in the back seat. So he took it? Yeah. For sure. <gasps> Probably when we were at that road where we didn't get an intention and he just wanted to lure us back out here to throw this at us, but he missed. Why did he miss? Mr. Slippery, you have no aim. Yeah. He has no depth perception at all. Oh, sh okay. Well, I'm glad my car didn't get hit. So, guys, why do you think. <laughs> in the comment section, please tell me why you think Mr. Slippery just launched a pot in my car. For those of you returning, this is the kind of stuff he... Actually, he's never thrown anything at us, has he? Uh, I don't know. He, he toys with us all the time, but... Um, yeah, he hasn't... Uh, 
Yeah. He toys with us all the time, but he's never done anything like this, where he's actually throwing something at us. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't really explain this one, but he did take this from inside the car and he's done that kind of stuff before. You take stuff out of your car and he writes intentions on it. He stole my car, he breaks into our car, he rides in our car. One time he was in our in the back of the Audi for like a good 30 minutes or so, driving through miles with him in the back of the car. We didn't even know it. And he's done this multiple times. So that's not that's not really anything new. So now we're just kicking the ceramic off the road so no one punctures their tires. Wait, that means he's around here though. So God has pieces of this thing everywhere. Yeah, I think that's it. So I don't know. I don't know what that was about. I hope I got that on camera because you can like barely see it, but it it happened. What? No. Nope. Wait, what? What do you mean? Hey, what, do you, what do you mean? What do I mean? No. Nope. Paper and sharpie. On the road. Where'd yeah. you find that? Right there, right there. What do you want to bet it came out of that pot? I, mean, it, I looked in the pot, there was nothing in there. I mean, it's small. You know what, I bet he taped it against the edge or something. Then how do you expect us to find it? I don't know. Yep. A piece of fractured jade lame. Lame, 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 but it's severed. And the top part of the other one was severed, right? Yes, it was. Wasn't it? Lamented under the moonlit path will reveal. Wait, that's what Ented mean. Yeah, lamented. Meant. Okay. The fractured piece of jade lamented under the moonlit path will reveal true unveilings. What does that mean? Is there is there anything? Are we supposed to do another one? Is there anything in quotes up there? Yeah. The, uh, this first one doesn't have anything. The second one does. The second one has revealed. A reveal. So did we do it at the wrong time or something? Or like, did he a want us to find it now? Fractured jade. How did he want this to work? I don't understand. What? I don't know. So are we supposed to do a reveal now? Because he revealed the note. A piece of fracture. Wait, 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 wait. Reveal? Then we already do reveal? Yeah. No. Wait, yeah. So you're right. Yeah, we did reveal. So what the what the hell does he want? What does he want us to do? I, what do you want us to do, bro? <laughs> I think we messed up. What do you mean? Because he threw that at us. He threw that yeah. pot at us. A piece of fractured jade. Oh, like, like we were supposed to like destroy it or something? Yeah, yeah, we were supposed to destroy it and find this note first. But how does he expect us to know to do that? Like what? Like we're not just going to take an intention that we were going to raffle off to like our Patreon subscribers and stuff and just destroy it. Why would he expect I, us to do that? I mean, you know, I, I'm not a betting man. But I, I bet that he doesn't really care about our subscribers or our Patreons. So well, yeah, but I mean, he is like, kind of expecting us to destroy something he wants us to destroy. But he knows that we save all of our stuff. Like, right? I mean, we take it. We don't. We haven't made any videos of us being like, "Oh, screw Mr. Slipper," and just like slamming it on the ground. I don't understand why he thought. Was there a clue that we? Well, there was probably a clue that we missed. There's definitely something we missed if he wanted us to smash it. I don't know. I agree, though. Is that why he took it? Maybe he took us to the open road to destroy it? Maybe. Or there was that, probably something there that told us to destroy it. And we or that attention. forest preserve, the one, the deer preserve? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Maybe. I don't know, bro. All right, well, let's get out of here. I agree. Hey, you know what? What? There, you drive. You see better at night. Oh, yeah, I got you. Dude, ever since that like concussion, like my vision has been, you know, wonky. Do you remember like a few months ago when we were doing Grand Nautica? And I was like, yo, like the because you shine the light in my face, and I'm like, bro, the light is still like burned into my face. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So Dude, what is that?
He's definitely not up there anymore. How fast did you go? Uh, I don't know, I probably hit like 40 or something. I was hoping to gain some speed so I could slam on the brakes and launch him out in front of us, but. Oh, he's not there yeah, anymore. Yeah, like he's already gone. How, dude, how did he just get on the car without us hearing him? By the time we got in, until he knocked on the window, I didn't hear or feel anything. Like, I didn't feel a car shake, nothing. Honestly, that's believable. How did he, like, not hurt himself? I mean, we, he just fell off the car at, like, 25 miles an hour, right? Yeah. Yeah, easily. Okay, so. He just, he just tucked and rolled into these, into these bushes. Okay, well, that's really bizarre. So, Mr. Slippery, uh, our guy, was just on top of the car after he just threw a pot at us. This is all glass. There's nothing really to hang on to up there, except I guess he could have hung on to the, to the, um, the roof rack. Luggage rails, yeah. So he got up there without us knowing. Yeah, yeah, that's the most oh, bizarre thing. shit. Okay, well, we, we see Mr. Slippery again. He's back. And right in our faces, literally. Okay. Obviously, just like screwing with us, I guess. He took a big risk being on top of our car, though, to screw with us. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, dude. He, just, he must have like rehearsed this somehow a few times. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, how? Because he knew we would stop when a pot was thrown in the road. Yeah. He'd be like, what was that? And then. But like, how did he figure out like a safe place to tuck and roll? That's what. I don't I mean, know. He, he, like he, he probably looked down the road. He couldn't calculate our speed. He he'd have no idea how fast we were going. I mean, you can guess. Yeah. I mean, this guy is good with computers. He could like literally calculate the acceleration or the speed based on the acceleration of the model of this vehicle. Yeah, that's okay. And then jumped out like after you know. I mean, zero to 60 times is like seven seconds, so he probably figures maybe 7.5. So he probably figures like, oh, if I jump out at after three or four seconds, I'm good. But he was on there for longer than that. Yeah, that's true. That, yeah. Man. Yeah, he, was, he seemed like he was on there for a little bit. But then again, that happened really fast. So yeah. I don't know how long he was like actually, actually on there for. Huh. That was weird. Yeah, that was that was very weird. Guys, if we don't seem that shaken up right now, it's because this has literally happened to us so many times before that we're not. We're phased, but at the same time we're not phased. It's I don't know how to describe the feeling. It's like you, you hit the adrenaline rush, but you're so used to what's going on that you're just like, oh it's Mr. Slippery on top of the car again. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh this is a second home. Station open. Yeah. Give it a second. See if we can both park out here and we'll see like if we see anybody following us or anything. Yeah, but if you had a car in the bushes. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Looks like the gas station itself is closed. Okay, guys, so no one was following us at the gas station. Oh, we waited for a few minutes and see anybody parked. Yeah, didn't so. Didn't see anywhere else. So I think that Mr. Slippery, the orchestrator, was parked somewhere else through the field and he took off. But it's like where we're at, where we saw what makes the most sense is there's like a, a gravel road that's gated. So we think he parked on the other side of the gate, mm -hmm. went through that field, went around the gate, got in his car and left. Yeah. That's what makes the most sense. So. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. Unless he has to walk back somewhere. Yeah, unless he walks back, which, I mean, he's a strange dude, so I don't see that as being too out of his wheelhouse yeah. to be doing. So, like I said, we've seen this a hundred times before, so we're not extremely shaken up. It's like, uh, I don't know, 
if one of those clairvoyant people who sees ghosts, like, just goes into a graveyard and sees dead people walking around and yeah. they're totally chill, you know, they're like, oh, nah, this is cool. This is supposed to be a thing. That's kind of how we are right now. We're just not, you know, adrenaline rush. And then as soon as he's gone, like, oh, that was pretty normal. Just a normal day for Cursed Urban. Yes, sir. The Cursed Urban crew. I'm not texting while driving. Don't don't worry about it. Don't yeah, he is. He's doing. No, he's not texting while driving. He's Snapchatting. I don't, don't worry about what I'm and doing. And he's drunk. <laughs> yeah, beverage driving. Yeah. Beverage driving. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, only trailer trash drunk drive. We beverage drive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, whiskey and wheels. That's what we call and it. Wheels. Mm -hmm. Tequila and tailgating. Yep. The car in front of you. <laughs> Vodka and vehicles. Vodka and vehicles. Beer and brakes. <laughs> Dan does. So I think that's that's gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Right? We don't want to do another retention, do we? No. I I kind of get the feeling that he wants us to. I feel like he doesn't. He has to walk off whatever inner injury injury he just sustained. So I don't think he wants. Does he want the smoke? Should we run another intention just to screw with him? Mm. Watch him like have to limp to plant something. Yeah, because he definitely suffered some sort of bodily harm from that, right? Yeah, he had to have. Unless he's like a, I don't know, some sort of ex special forces knew exactly how to land. Maybe he's not human. Maybe I wouldn't be shocked. What if that? What if that mask wasn't a mask? What if that was his actual face? That'd be crazy. Maybe our next encounter is trying to rip the mask off. See if it's actually a mask. Yeah. If we can get close enough. If we can get close enough. All right, let's... Uh, Should we do the outro here or over there? It's up to you. Uh, I don't care. Do it here. Okay. Do it right here since... Our camera is on life support right now. Or back oh support. yeah, we can't even take it out of the car. Never yeah, mind. It's, it's about to die. Yeah, we have it plugged into the thing. Okay. So. So. Uh, yeah, that does it for tonight. Um, this was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> As usual. So. I don't know. I don't know. I'm happy it's over. And Same. hopefully he stays. He's not going to stay gone for a while. Yeah. But, but it doesn't look like we have to do Randonautica four nights in a row. Which that's, I'm, which that's I'm thankful for. That's excellent because I missed a whole bunch of episodes of Narcos. My mm -hmm. dad and I watched the entire like first three seasons when I was sick. We're on Narcos Mexico, and he's watching Narcos without me right now. Because of Mr. Slippery, I'm missing my Narcos. But we did come to an idea for you guys. So right now, what we're going to do... In the comments of this episode, uh, we are going to give away one of our Randonautica intentions. Maybe not one of the ones for, from tonight, but one of them. Yeah, because one of them's broken. Yeah, yeah, one of them is broken. Yo, really. we should but, mail, if someone wins the thing, we should mail them the parts of the, the, <laughs> of the you broken You don't even pot. have the parts, you have to go pick it yeah, up. Let's go pick it up, <laughs> put it in a box to, just to give to some unlucky fan. Like, oh, my intention's here. Opens it up, it's just a bunch of broken ceramic. <laughs> nah, post office did it. But <laughs> you know, get insurance for it. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna give away one of our intentions mm -hmm. tonight. Um, you don't have to be a Patreon. You don't have to be a member of our channel. Nothing. It's just to one of you guys to start this whole thing off. So all you gotta do, if you want to win one of our intentions, is like the video, make sure you're subscribed, and then post our newest post on Instagram to your Instagram story mm -hmm. and at at Cursed Urban in the story. Mm -hmm. When we see that, we'll write all you guys down who we see on Instagram. We'll check it with your comments. That's all you do. And we will be pulling a name on a live probably this next week. This next week. We'll announce it on yeah, live. We'll, we'll announce it on one of our videos and we'll announce it in the community tab and on our Instagram. So, yep. 
comment, make sure you're subscribed, like the video, and share our newest Instagram post to your story. And make sure, make sure to tag at Cursed Urban in it. Make sure. Make sure. Because if you don't do that, we're not going to see it. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that wraps it up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment, especially if you want to get our intention. So we, should we make it the Santa, the edgy Santa Claus? Do you think we should? We should, or do you think we should hold on to that one for a while in case we need it? Oh, maybe. I don't know. We'll decide what gets sent. It'll be a mystery. Yeah, it'll be a yeah. mystery. It'll be a mystery. You won't even know. Okay. So. All right. So, yeah, like like all our social media. Check out Cursed Urban, Cursed Dot Urban on Instagram. Check out our TikTok. Check out our Patreon. Remember the Patreon exclusive Random Nauticas, and we're get we're raffling away intentions all the time over there. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Every two weeks. If you want to see the free giveaway instructions again, just go down to the uh, yeah. description and it'll tell you what to do. This first one is like no. Are we doing two or one? Is what just... giveaway? Yeah, we'll just give away one. Just this one. Okay, so yeah, this is the first free. It's free. free you don't have to nothing. do yeah. no Patreon, no nothing. nothing. After this. The giveaways are going to be Patreon related for a while. Then we'll probably do something big at. We'll probably, 50K we'll or probably still weasel some free ones. Out yeah, for yeah. You guys. We'll, we'll put some free ones out. Every yeah. Then, but, uh, so yeah, all social media, and notifications, like, subscribe. Said that like three times right now. So that's it. All right. Peace out, guys. Enjoy your night. See you on the next one.